Okay, I just got a package in the mail, and it is the uh, <clears throat> Bear Grills. I think that's how you pronounce his name, and I'm calling it the Ultimate Zombie Chopper because it looks pretty cool. First time I saw this was, uh, I don't remember when I saw it a couple months ago, but I saw a review done on on We All Juggle Knives channel. Uh, it does a really good review. So after seeing that one, I, I just uh, sent for it immediately. Okay, and uh, it came in this plastic packaging, and there's the guy. Uh, plastic packaging, okay. And they're calling it uh, the Survival Series Parang. Sounds uh, Filipino, at least Asian, I'm not sure what. <clears throat> okay. And I'll give you a... There's a good shot of it. This is it right here. Uh, I'll give you the specs, and then uh, we'll take a little bit of a comparison look. Okay, uh, from hilt to tip, uh, the blade is 13 and a half inches long. It's got an 11 inch blade, and the total length is 19 and a half inches. It's got a textured nylon handle. Um, what else? Well, you can see it's a uh, machete style, and I really like the uh, sweeping blade. It'd be really good for uh, moving fast and hitting zombies where it counts. You know, taking arms and hands off and taking heads off. Okay, so I'm considering this one of my uh, best uh, zombie weapons, and I'm going to give you a quick weight on it. There's a scale. Let's put it on there. Okay, on the scale, it weighs out at uh, one pound, about four ounces. So that's really good. It should be really fast handling. Uh, here's another one I'm going to compare it to. This is uh, a cold steel. It's about the same length. I think it's about an inch, maybe two inches shorter. It's a little cold steel mach machete. That's 15 ounces, 15 and a half ounces. So they're pretty close in weight, but uh, the Gerber. Oh, this is made by Gerber, in case you didn't know. It's made by Gerber with uh, the bear's signature on it. And compared to a K-Bar, a regular K-Bar, uh, the K-Bar loses by about uh, 7 inches. And a K-Bar weighs about 11 ounces. Uh, still, you can't beat the K-Bar for a fighting knife, but this Bear grill has just got a little bit more sweep, a little bit more reach. Uh, I like it. I'm also going to compare it to uh, this Tomahawk. This is a 27 and a half, I think it's 27 and a half inches. Uh, really good zombie knife. It's a little long, but I really like it. So there is a kind of a quick look at the Bear Grillus, or Bear Grills, uh, Parang Machete. It also comes with a nice nylon sheath. And it's got Velcro and snaps, so it's in a belt loop right here. It's also got what looks like uh, semaphore on the back in case you're uh, stranded somewhere. And that's what this guy's into. It's in, and he's into survival. And he gives you a little bit of a, let's see, he calls it, uh, if you're in a spot of trouble and here's what to do, it shows it's got fire, fire making, uh, what are the first priorities? Food, shelter, fire. Yeah, that's right, but one of the things I couldn't understand about this guy, in the instructions he says nothing about protecting yourself against zombies or even animals. Okay, so I think he, he uh, missed something in, in his instructions. And uh, one more point about this uh, Bear Grylls thing. Machete, it's got a nice lanyard. Uh, and the handle is uh, feels like it's hard rubber, maybe Kraton. I don't know. It's a nice one though. It's gonna be one of my one of the best uh, pieces of equipment in my zombie killing arsenal. And just as a side note, uh, I got a couple more wood projects on the board. There's a porky pig, and that's gonna be the uh, Colt logo, the rampant Colt. I did leave the, there's a couple pieces I left out in that colt, I didn't really like them. There are two uh, sticks going across the middle. I thought they didn't look that good, so I left them out. Okay, that's a quick look at my new, uh, one of the ultimate zombie weapons. I think it is. Okay, um, 
I'll do a further review and probably some more comparison later on. Knuckle bump.